What's up everybody, Blood Dragon Rider here. How are you guys doing? It's a nice, lovely day. Tuesday. And I'm just out to go to the bank because uh, I need to prove um, some few stuff to my insurance company. Because my insurance company says that I have no money in my bank for, my, for this month. I think it's what the 29th of the uh, of, of March, and now I'm just thought you know I just go just uh, head to the bank and try to prove to my insurance company and say yes my money was in there, and uh, what you guys were talking about is a little bit BS. So um, if anybody been on my Facebook I actually shared a an, shared an article about people who go off-roading in the byways um, there are people out there who set in traps for people who's on motorcyclists and someone someone is someone is buying a string of wire and when you go off-roading, when you get to that wire, it'll be too late to stop and also react quicker. So, if any of you guys are planning to do off-roading, doesn't matter if you're if you're in America, in the UK, or whatever, and you know you're going through woods, and that, be very careful and be very vigilant, because there are people out there that this is being completely dick because there is a couple of videos of um, people on on byways get stopped by old people and not just old people but some people I think some of them are actually old people because they don't know what byway byway is and if you want to know what byway is and some people who are new to it it means open to all traffic. If you just type it, type it down on your phone, or your laptop, or your PC, or tablet, and type down byway, it will give you the information what byway is. Off-road vehicles are allowed to be on there, motoring vehicles, but um, but there, there's just not a lot of people that know much about byway. There are people will be thinking that it's just for people on footpath, but there is uh, a sign say public footpath, but somewhere in the, in the UK we'll probably say it different depends I think in Scotland or, or Wales or something like that would be say something different maybe but I don't know but people um, out there don't care if they going to hurt you if they're thinking that it's it's just for people on the footpaths they'll try to stop you even though you try to show them proof that they are wrong they're not gonna admit they are wrong so guys, just want to do this video to let you guys know to be very careful when you go off-roading. Try to be vigilant, don't go too fast, even though it's fun to go off-roading, like me, like in, on the byways. I mean, I have fun going off-roading on the byways, having fun on the dirt, and try to have a good time. But people like that is very dangerous, very dangerous, because these strings can take your head off if you go in the right speed, because on the article, it did say is on a rider's head height, it's just the head height of the, of the rider's head, so it could be somewhere between, the, I'll say like in the neck area, but it's really that dangerous, it's really dangerous. I'm pretty sure there is a crossing over there. I think, did you go 
little stick as well. So yes guys, be very careful when you go off-roading. Hope this uh, video will give you a heads up. Be vigilant when you go out riding. Guys, thank you for watching. My name is Black Dragon Rider and I'll speak to you all later. Bye bye. You've been acting like a stranger. Said you see me later, but you never call back. I've been getting faded, running out of patience. But I know it's alright. I'll just keep on waiting till you come.